Hello. Uh, today we're going to be talking about y equals f of x, um, a concept that many of you guys may have not seen, uh, something that you would probably have seen if you had gotten uh, into pre-calculus. However, despite this being a topic that's taught later in math, it is fu uh, fundamentally a very easy topic. It's just that it looks difficult because of all the characters that take place in their problems. So these types of problems just really ask you to determine inputs and outputs of functions and understand just that y equals f of x is just another way to write y. The approach, we want to make sure that we're always putting inputs in from the x values uh, on the function, and we want to t find outputs from, as y values on the function. So what does f of x mean? Whatever is inside the parenthesis is the x, and the f of x is the output. So if I say f of 3 equals 6, that means when the x is 3, the y value is 6. So look down at the equation below. I have f of x equals x cubed. I want you to first understand that there's no dividing by x or by f. f of x is one thing. It cannot be separated. So when I say f of 2, that is not f times 2. That is what is the function equal to when x is made 2. So to do this problem, think cut and paste. You're going to cut all the x's out and paste in 2's. So f of 2 will be 2 to the third, which is equal to 8. No matter what the input is, you need to follow this cut and paste procedure, whether it's a, 16, or x squared. So let's take a look at another example. f of x equals 3x cubed minus x. If we want to do f of a, we simply take out the x's and put in a's, yielding 3a cubed minus a. Okay? If we're doing it with a number, it's basically the same thing. f of 16 is going to be 3 times 16 cubed minus 16. And likewise, even if we're doing f of x squared, you still just take out the x and put in the x squared. Make sure that you have parentheses around whatever you plug in so that you square or cube the entire thing. Um, so if it said f of a, b, you'd want to put a, b, and then cube it. So you don't just cube that b. f of x questions also involve finding values on a graph. Understanding this will help you understand what f of x is really used for. So if you look at the graph below, when it says what is f of 6, it's asking for what is the y value of the function when the x value is 6. Looking at the graph, the answer is 0, because 0 is the y value that accompanies 6 as the x value. f of 3 is going to be negative 9, again, because negative 9 is the y value when x is 3. And lastly, f of 0 would be 0, because again, when you make x 0 on this function, the y value is 0. Function shifts, another important topic dealing with f of x. You need to understand how function shifts when you, a function shifts when you make changes to the function. When you add a number inside of the function, let's say f of x plus c, for example, it goes in the opposite direction of c. So if we have f of x plus 5, that's going to move 5 units to the left, whereas f of x minus 5 is 5 units to the right. Remember, it's an opposite movement. When you add things outside of a function, they actually function or create changes in the same direction. So f of x plus 5 would create a shift up 5 whereas f of x minus 5 would create a shift down 5. So what is the equation of f of x squared shifted up 2 units and right 3 units? I'll give you a minute to try it, and then I'll give you the answer. OK, so hopefully you were able to do this. If you want to shift this function up 2 units, you're going to add 2 on the outside. If you want to shift it right 3 units, you're going to subtract 3. The final equation will yield f of x equals x minus 3 squared plus 2. The minus 3 creates the shift to the right, and the plus 2 on the outside creates the shift up. Graphical representation, I want you guys to understand that an f of x graph can be displayed, and they can ask you, what is the function of the new graph if it was shifted? It's the same concept we just talked about, but I wanted you to see it visually. So if you look at the graph on the lower left, f of x, there is a point on that graph, 2, negative 4. When the graph gets shifted to g of x, that point becomes 3, negative 2. Ask yourself what happened at that point. Going from 2 to 3, there was a shift right 1. And going from negative 4 up to negative 2, there was a shift up 2. So how would you write the function? g of x would be equal to f of x minus 1. The minus 1 creates the shift to the right of 1, plus 2, which creates the vertical shift up 2. And now we're going to go and look at some questions from SAT Quest relating to y equals f of x.